All right, meanwhile, Mayor President Sharon Westenbroom and Ted James are kicking off Baton Rouge's mayor's race at City Hall today. It's one we'll be close, following closely. Fox 44 Sydney Simone was there. She speaks with qualifying candidates. Lots of energy filled City Hall in Baton Rouge Wednesday morning as two Democrats many are familiar with officially entered the race for mayor president. Today, your native son officially qualified to become your mayor president. This term will certainly be different from my first term in that it will be my last term. <laughs> After serving as mayor president for the past eight years, Sharon Weston Broom signed her name on qualifying documents one last time with family and supporters behind her. We are also working on many projects that are emerging and evolving. And so you need someone with the experience, the knowledge. Broom says stability in government is crucial right now. If reelected, Broom anticipates her last four years will be her best. We're going to continue to work on our infrastructure issues. We're going to continue to work on public safety. Uh, we're going to continue to work on affordable housing uh, for our community. Broom's challenger, Democratic candidate Ted James, is officially in the race, submitting documents alongside his daughter, family, friends, and supporters. And I can no longer accept living in a community that has an LSU in Southern, but we still lead, lose too many of our young people because they've had to choose between opportunity and home. If elected, James plans to address the ongoing crime while working to make the city and parish a more attractive place to live. We are going to put president back in mayor president and what that means is my commitment to Baton Rouge will mirror my commitment to Zachary, to Central, to Baker and to the new city of St. Louis. One word both candidates have in common is change, something that many people in the community hope to see. The last day to qualify is Friday. Reporting here in downtown Baton Rouge, Sydney Simone, Fox 44 News. Definitely going to be a race to watch. It really is.